All right. So this is what is this? The uh, the Dodgers got 50, 56, 54. This is the what the fifty fourth episode of the uh, team previews for Major League Baseball. I am Sean Childs of uh, FantasyAnalyst.com, and I need to get this other pro thing up here. But my point is, this is the show you've been waiting for. You want to see the Colorado pitching staff because this is what's going to put you over the top. Um, <laughs> Uh, uh, they, they just, uh, so Sean Childs of fantasy analyst.com. Um, just, um, you know, the Rockies pitching is going to be, this is going to be the quickest show. Of all. I'm just going to blast through these and not torture you or me. Um, so that, you know, the first up Kyle Freeland earlier in his career, he was, you know, serviceable. He'd have stretches of, um, being an okay arm, but the last five years, he's just gone backwards. Um, just can't strike out anybody. Um, you know, really kind of, um, you know, last year he made 27, 29 starts. Um, he he uh, resulted in seven. He made 27 starts with seven resulting in four runs or more. He had a 5.03 RA, 1.417 whip, 1.7 home runs per nine, K rate 5.4, just going in the wrong direction. He had an ERA of every uh, over four every month. Average fastball 89, uh, two mile an hour lower than his best seasons. Uh, than his, you know, and then uh, he just, you know, he got crushed. The slider was a his slider and four seam were okay, 234, 241. They crushed everything else. Um, just, um, you know, just, um, you know, fading strikeout rate, no out pitches versus righty, diminished fastball. The Rockies own $47 million for the next reason. Um, just, to, you know, there's no no reason to even kind of look at him, even talk about him or whatever. He's just, uh, you know, if I guess he got to another team, he could surprise. I thought um, I put. Cal Quantrell, he got traded for the Indians. He had a pretty good season and pitched pretty well in 2021. He had a 2.89 ERA, um, had 121 strikeouts. First pick strikeout array was okay. Um, the next season, he went 15-5, and five, a 3.380 ERA, 186.1 innings, 64% um, first strikeout rate. You know, not a big, you know, a uh, lot of strikeouts, but last year he just went – he was just a liability. Um, first eight starts, he had a 5.61 ERA, 1.416 whip. He allowed seven home runs over 59.1 innings. Right float, shoulder inflammation led to a month on the injuries list. And then a second stint, uh, two starts later, he had given up the two starts. He gave up 11 runs, 19 base runners, four strikeouts over 7.2 innings. And when he came back at the end of the year, he looked a little bit better, 2.76 ERA. Um, but his whip was 1.256. So, should have been a lot worse, and he issued 13 uh, walks. That was kind of bad. Average fastball 94 was aligned with 2022. Split finger pitch is pretty good, 222, and he succeeded with a uh, curveball 200. Um, but he just, uh, you know, his his walk rate's 3.2, and he only strikes out 5.2 batters for nine. Um, that's that's a tough combination, you know, wheeling them into Colorado. You know, if you can't strike batters out and they're putting the ball in play, they're going to invite a lot more hits. So bum right shoulder, uh, go to Colorado. His pitchers locked last legs. He gave up more home runs. Uh, no reason to fight for him. Alex Gomber, another St. Louis cast off. Looked like he was a pretty good player in the minors. He went 45 and 25 over seven seasons with a 2.98 ERA, 566 strikeouts over 574 innings. His walk rate was 2.7, favorable. Strikeout rate 8.9. Looks like a decent arm. Had one decent year. And um, did he have uh, two, three, two, a few years back? He had a. Um, he looked like a pretty good arm, and then he went backwards. 2022, uh, over a short season, he had a 1.86 ERA, 27 strikeouts over 29 innings, but he did walk 4.7 batters per nine. They acquired him in the deal with a uh, um, with St. Louis uh, for Nolan Aaron, Arenado. Um, um, but you know, the last two years, he just you know just backed right up. ERA of 5.56, 5.50. Um, just can't strike out anybody. Fastball 90.7. You know, his only pitcher value last year was uh, 236. He had nothing of value against left handed uh, pitchers. Um, he made no starts in September with a back injury. Uh, what is his walk rate? I just want to, yeah. So his walk rate was 5.6, low point, lowest of his career, 1.7 home runs per nine. Righties did 278, lefties 372. Um, just, just nothing but mess and nothing that even somebody should be wasting their time looking at. So, um, you know, just another, and, uh, he's had a forearm issue twice. 
so I could have potentially Tommy on John surgery. And maybe that's the reason that he's still kicking around. Ryan Feltner is a guy that looked a little more intriguing. At least he like, at least he had a semi pulse, but he's kind of uh, not done it. Um, he struggled in the A ball 2019 at five year, over a five ERA, 1.538 whip, 116 strikeouts over 119 innings. Um, but the next year, 2022 looked like it was going to be a decent arm. He was a 8-3, 2.96 ERA, 127 strikeouts over 122.2 innings. Um, his walk rate showed uh, growth and strikeout rate until 2022, 3.1 and 10.5 at AAA. Um, but his ERA went backwards, 3.83. Um, the Rockies gave him 19 appearances in the majors and one relief, uh, 19 starts and one relief, um, but he had failure across the board. Um, gave up 1.5 home runs per nine, struck out only 7.8 batters, and he was easy to hit you know, 266. Last year, he took a line drive to the head in mid-May, uh, led to four months on the DL. Um, he pitched well in three games, actually. He had no runs over 16.2 innings with 17 strikeouts, but the other 10 starts, he just was uh, off the chart bad. He gave up 28 runs, 58 base runners, two home runs over 25.2 innings, and his season ended with a right elbow injury. Average fastball career high, 95.3. Uh, uh, through a, um, sorry, a low, two low volume pitches with success, a show me curveball 182 and a change up 118. Uh, and the slider was probably workable at 247. Um, but he just needs to get, you know, walk 5.8 batters per nine last year. His four seamer was 274, sinker 431. So I don't think he has a high ceiling. The elbow is a little bit of concern. Um, just not really, just not, he's probably better than some of the pitchers ahead of him, but you know, they're going to, if they wheel him out there for a bunch of starts, he's going to get banged around too. uh, Dakota Hudson. Uh, he just, he looked like uh, earlier in his career, that first year with the Cardinals went 16 and seven, a 3.35 ERA, uh, whip was out of line. 1.408 didn't get a lot of strikeouts, 136. He's always been a high ground ball pitcher. Um, he had Tommy John surgery, I think in what 2018, 17, 18, there missed some time, uh, came back, um, you know, back, you know, and pitched okay in short innings in 2020 and 2022, but surrounded by his Tommy John surgery. But unfortunately, in the last two years, he just has been worthless and hasn't shown anything. Strikeouts are, are too low, and his, he doesn't throw enough first pitch strike rates, and he issues too many walks. Um, uh, you know, so. Unfortunately, his uh, fastball is 91.5, and um, when he, in 2018, he averaged 97.4. That's a big difference there. Um, cutter, they hit 247, sinker 340, four seamer 295. He barely threw his uh, slider 267, um, and changeup he actually barely threw, but he hit 200. Ground ball pitcher, 51.5%, kind of hopefully limits the damage home runs. He lacks command. Strikeouts are just a lost asset. Pitching in color, just, you know, Another guy, you know, why waste your time? Peter Lambert was a guy that was uh, at least a decent prospect. And he had an over eight season minus had a 3.96 ERA, 473 strikeouts over 554.1 innings. Um, but, you know, he just really didn't have a high strikeout rate. The walk rate was really good, 2.3, but his strikeout rate was 7.7. 7. Um, he looked like he was improved in 2018 in the minors, went 8-2, uh, 2.23 ERA, 75 strikeouts. Over 92.2 innings, but he struggled at when he got to AAA, the ERA of five, uh, lower strikeouts. Um, just really didn't do it the next year after that. He was even, even worse. Um, he blew out his uh, right elbow in July of 2020, Tommy John surgery. Um, just kind of banged around. Last year, he, uh, he um, over, uh, over seven starts at AAA, he had a 4.15 ERA, 1.569 whip, 14 walks, uh, uh, 21 strikeouts over 21.1 uh, innings, really bad numbers. The Rockies pitched him out of the bullpen in May and June, um, 24 runs, 53 base runners, nine home runs over 31.1 innings. Looked like he didn't belong in the majors, but surprisingly, he pitched pretty well in Ju July and August for the, in their starting rotation for the Rockies. 3.60 ERA, ERA 1.133 whip, 30 strikeouts over 45 innings, so the strikeouts are still short. Um, after two poor, two poor short – Two poor showings late in the year, 10 runs, 17 base runners, three home runs, over 11 innings. Colorado shut him down with a bicep issue, um, potentially another Tommy John surgery. Average fastball is about league average, 93.5. Changeup was tough to hit, 226. Um, he had a four-seamer, 283, 
you know, slider 271, curveball 263, three, you know, league average pitches. So, you know, his walk rate in his careers, or, you know, it's been 2.9, so that's okay. Um, or at least with Colorado, it's been 2.9. Um, we struggled with home runs, 1.9 per nine. So not a lot to like there, but he might end up as, you know, get regular starts if he can stay healthy. Uh, Ryan Rollison is a pitcher that um, he was uh, got drafted 22nd overall in the 2018 June amateur draft. Uh, pitched pretty good over two seasons at Mississippi, went 16-7. 3.45 ERA, 84 strikeouts, over 159 innings. Um, he just kind of, you know, did okay through the minors, and then he got a hand injury in 2021. Um, he, you know, he ended up, uh, you know, having limited starts, and then he ended up uh, getting a left shoulder injury in 2022. And, you know, he didn't start, uh, you know, a left shoulder injury, and then he only made uh, four starts. Um, and then last year, he just didn't uh, recover, and he just really didn't uh, get on the field. So his fastball now sits at 89.6, um, features a curveball, changeup slider. So he needs a lot more vast velocity. They say his, um, his uh, shoulder looks better in spring training, but, you know, we have nothing to go by um, without more velocity. Pitching in Colorado, I think the luster is gone with him. In the bullpen, um, Justin Lawrence. He was a guy that uh, he really had a terrible, you know, minor league resume. Seven years in the minors, 12 and 23, 4.90 ERA, uh, 1.425 whip, 274 strikeouts over over uh, 259 innings. He did get 39 saves. Um, he did look better in 2023, uh, 2022 at AAA, 3.07 ERA, uh, 1.023 whip, 49 strikeouts, one save over 29.1 innings. Um the first two seasons of the Colorado went four and one, 6.52 RA, bad whip. Strikeouts were 65 over 59.1 innings. Um, but last year, he surprised. He got a chance to save, picked up 11 saves, ERA 3.72, kind of a sidewinder, 78 strikeouts over 75 innings. You think he was throwing, showing a little bit of growth. But um, after the All Star break last year, he had a 5.22 ERA, 1.705 whip. At 33 strikeouts were over 29.1 innings. Average fastball 95.4, one mile an hour below 2022. Um, off his elite slider, he's got a really good slider. Hit 139, but you know sinker 317, and and uh and it really had less value against righties 381. So this you know he gets the first reliever out of all the pitchers on the Rockies. I mean he's the first pitcher drafted and it's ADP at 384. That just shows the you know the strength of this team. But I, I don't think there's any reason to go after Lawrence. I don't care if he's getting saves or whatever. I think he's dangerous. I don't trust him. They don't get enough games, you know, and why, why even take, you know, a ticking time bomb. Um, Gavin um, Hollowell is a guy the year before I thought would have had a chance to get some saves. His minor league resume was actually, you know, uh, a pretty good. Um, he went to St. John's. They drafted him a sixth round in 2019. Um, you know, he, the same season, um, let's see, that's in two seasons. In his first two seasons in the minors, he had a 2.85 ERA. He had 97 strikeouts, 21 saves over 72.2 innings. So that's a pretty good profile. Um, in the first six games in 2022, he struggled in three appearances. He had six runs, 11 base runs, one home run, and seven innings. Um, so that was probably with the, with the um, first six starts in the majors, and he really didn't get it done. Last year, he started the year in the injured list with a forearm issue, and that's not a good sign. Um, he had a 3.38 IRA, 17 strikeouts, our first 16 innings in the minors, or mostly in the minors. They called Rockies called him up in late June. Um, he just struggled over 13.1 innings, 10 runs, 20 base runners, 13 home runs. When he returned to AAA, he had a 3.86 ERA, 12 strikeouts over 9.1 innings. Um, and then when he had another chance in the majors, he wasn't much better. 11 runs. 26 base runners, five home runs over 18.1 innings. Average fastball was league average uh, 93.5. He had success with his slider 206, four seamer 149, uh, but they smashed his sinker at 343. Walk rate was much too high for him, 4.8 4, 4 batters per nine. Out of line from his previous career or resume at Myers when, you know, it was relatively short, but it looked better. Lefty's at 340 with five home runs over 47 at bat. So he's got plenty of failure. failure. Um, over his overall, his minor league career, his ERA and WHIP are you know pretty good, and he did have 30 saves. Um, I don't expect him to get drafted. Um, he'd have to get definitely get the um, his command to the level of where it was uh, in his minor league career to even be a thought. But I think that he's got a chance based on the, the nothing we have on this roster. So, uh, but you know, undraftable. 
And I just threw Jalen Beeks in. He's had an up and down career. Um, thought he was talented. I think he got traded from Boston to Tampa early on in his career. He looked like he had a decent uh, a minor league career. Um, what do you have a 3.65 ERA over seven seasons? But um, he kind of bat battles away around. He had Tommy John surgery. He looked pretty good in 2022, 2.80 ERA, 70 strikeouts over 61 innings, had a couple saves, um, looked like he was trending. But last year, he struggled in April, 7.43 ERA, eight walks, eight strikeouts over 13 innings. Something was wrong. Uh, he regained his form in May, looked pretty good there. He pitched 15 innings, 19 strikeouts, only 16 base runners, gave up three runs. But for the rest of the year, his arm had no value between Tampa and the, and the minors. The average fastball was 94.2. Had a winning changeup, 230. Uh, some growth in this uh, cutter, two, uh, 172. Four-seamer, 273. And this is probably combined numbers between the majors. So his arm doesn't look tr attractive, but he's out of all the pitchers that are on this team, he's had some success in the majors. Maybe a dark horse for saves. But again, nobody, nobody worth drafting. And uh, I did it in about 16 minutes. So I'm sure you won't be listening to this. And I'm on alone. And I've got three teams left. And I will be excited to get this over with. Not because I, I don't like doing the videos. I just I need to move on to the next project.